Newport, the city by the sea on Aquidneck Island in the smallest state in the Union, Rhode Island. The self-proclaimed sailing capital of the world, where the wealthy built their summer cottages in the latter half of the 19th century, and where thousands flock every summer to tour said cottages, meander down the iconic cliff walk along the coast, soak up the salty air during a sail on an America's Cup yacht, eat endless amounts of seafood, especially clams or quahogs, the term for the larger variety, and stroll the cobblestone wharfs. I'm Kristen, this is Fabio, and this is our dog Yoda. We sold our home last year and moved aboard our Sea Wind 1600 Catamaran Wanderlust. Over the past year, we've sailed the waters of South Florida, the Keys, and the Bahamas, shaking down our new boat. We're now setting off on our journey to harbors unknown Known, exploring the world and connecting with people and places through the local cuisine. Subscribe now to join our voyage. One of our favorite things to do while in Newport is take a morning walk or run along the cliff walk. The main entrance just above Easton's Beach, aka First Beach, is the beginning of three and a half miles of staggering coastline with incredible ocean views bordering the backyards of stunning century-old Gilded Age mansions. It's a delightful activity any time of day, but mornings are our favorite. Wow, look at this. Can you imagine going to school here? What a campus. Yeah. It's incredible. Yeah. It's incredible, man. You go to school every day. You walk, you don't just launch on the water. I'm on the ocean. <laughs> College experience. <laughs> Spectacular, man. I know it's great. I've come here a few times to run in the morning and it's just so beautiful. Awesome. The water smells different too. Nice. Oh, deep ocean smell. No, yeah, I'm sure it's the seaweed and all the different clams that they have here. Yeah. Wow. Truly spectacular. It's amazing that you can essentially just kind of walk in the backyard of these mansions. Fucking us. I know. <laughs> oh, look, there's a bird. The oh, yeah. We finished up our stroll and headed back to the boat along the famed Bellevue Avenue.
Whenever we're in Newport, we make it a point to have brunch at Castle Hill Inn, the iconic hotel and restaurant situated on a hill overlooking the mouth of Narragansett Bay is where we got engaged years ago. So not only is it a fabulous spot with great food, it holds a special place in our hearts. Cheers. Cheers. It's so beautiful here. This looks amazing. Little ceviche. Little rojo with shrimp, calamari, mussels. Looks great. Little jalapeno here. All right. Delicious. It actually tastes like the ocean smells. The mussels are just so good here. Sometimes in Florida you get them and it's just not the same. So far, you got the Cuban, huh? Yeah, couldn't get away from Florida. <laughs> I want to see how Cubans are here in the East Coast. It looks pretty good. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> Scallops. Awesome. Yep. I'm excited. We enjoyed a stroll on the lawn after our delicious brunch. Newport's position at the mouth of Narragansett Bay lured the wealthy founders of the New York Yacht Club to its shores in 1844. The club's purpose in those days was to race sailing yachts, so the consistent Atlantic breeze and spectacular coastline of Newport's shores provided the perfect sailing ground and created an everlasting love affair between the coastal town and competitive sailors. For well over a century, the New York Yacht Club welcomed challenger after challenger to the America's Cup, but no one could overcome the innovative design and speed of the American yachts. From 1893 to 1934, seven of those champions were designed and built by Harrisoff Manufacturing Company. Since the Harrisoff Museum is located in nearby Bristol, we decided to trek down there to learn about the history firsthand. The Harrisoff brothers, J.B. and Nat, started building boats together in 1878. Initially, they built steamboats, but their love of sailing led them to build outstanding racing and cruising sailboats up to 162 feet. The firm also launched hundreds of custom designs, both large and small, and a number of one design classes. Among them, the Harrisoff J12.5 and, and 15 footers, S boats, and New York 30s, 40s, and 50s, along with the first catamaran. In 1958, the 12 meter yachts brought a new era of America's Cup racing to Newport. Some of these 60 to 70 foot sloops still cruise around the bay today as tour boats, so we spent a lovely afternoon aboard Intrepid, built by the Harrisoffs and champion of the 1967 and 1970 America's Cup. There's only three boats won the cup twice, the second one to do so. The first skipper was Bus Mossbacher. He also skippered Weatherly, well, you can't really see the boat in front, but uh, 1962, he skippered Weatherly, and then this. The second skipper to win the cup on this was Bill Thicker. She marked a major breakthrough in 12-meter design, in which the rudder was separated from the keel, including a bustle or kicker and an added trim tab. Her designer, the legendary Olin Stevens, had her built of double-planked mahogany on white oak frames, and her general underbody type, with relatively minor refinements, was used on every subsequent cup boat until the 12-meter Australia 2's winged keel of 1983.
you're enjoying this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend, leave us a comment down below, and be sure to subscribe to our channel. Sunrise on the water is such a beautiful time of day. Being a bit of a tourist town, people sleep in a bit, so if you're up early, you have this magical time to yourself. The New York Yacht Club continues to host their annual regatta, and the 167th edition fell right during our visit to Newport. Yeah, I think it's better that we just drive, right? Yeah. Drive over to Fort Adams. Yeah, it's, uh, it takes like an hour to get there while walking. Walk. Okay, so got the drone here. Okay. Got those guys in there. And I think we are good to go. You ready, Yoda? There is something we need. It's a leap of faith. A step away from the comfort zone and be a little brave. So take a look around you. How far can you see? How far do you think you can run? Standing on your own knees. It's a beautiful world. Fort Adams is a former United States Army post that was established on July 4, 1799 as a coastal fortification named for President John Adams who was in office at the time. It was the perfect summer Sunday on Narragansett Bay and it felt great to soak up the sun's rays and watch the boats cut through the water. Dell's Frozen Lemonade is an iconic Rhode Island summer treat and I just had to indulge in a cup of the cold sweet drink. summer. Newport's sailing tradition is not only one of racing, but of camaraderie. A group of local boaters joined Sail Newport in organizing a Newport Harbor boat parade to collectively pay tribute to loved colleagues, friends, and family members that were lost in 2020 and 2021 and celebrate the ability to gather once again. For us, it was a beautiful representation of this vibrant boating community.
incredible how many boats are here. We're here at the Black Pearl Restaurant in Newport. It's just off Main Street on Manhattan's Wharf. It's one of the most well-known restaurants in Newport, and I've been looking forward to coming for a while. In fact, my dad said I absolutely had to come and have a cup of clam chowder. So we're excited to have a, a traditional New England dinner. Cheers. Cheers. So, what'd you get, Fab? Classic clam chowder. <laughs> oh. I'm sure it's delicious. It is. Mm. Delicious. For our entree, we got a clam boil. It has lobster chips, mussels, and cohogs, and I don't know what else, but it looks delicious. Delicious. We know lobster. Main lobster. Good Island lobster. Cold water lobster. So, the essential thing, of course, that you need to do is dunk your bread. Dunk. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.